Uh, uh, okay, almost there. Man, flying through the Crystal Empire sure is hard work. Ow. Especially when your wings aren't feathers. Ow. Okay, I know I, I, know I have crystal wings and everything, but this is just insane. Uh, uh, okay, I'm almost there. Hey, every pony, how you doing? Remember me? It's Flame. The it's me, Flame, uh, <laughs> the savior of both Mobius and Equestria. Hey, good to see you. Ow. Okay, easy. And uh, okay, whew, I made it. Ah, oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, oh, my wings. Okay, hold on, my wings. Walk down the hallway. Okay. Hmm. I wonder where is every pony, especially the guards. This is really interesting. Well, it's a good thing I made it to the Crystal Empire because, well, <laughs> finally, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, they actually uh, are going to give me my gift. I wonder what it is. Okay, to tell you the truth, I'm actually both scared and uh, excited because, really, I really am both scared and excited because what if they're, you know, because, <sighs> you know, what if they're really, really mad at me for messing with a spell that I wasn't supposed to? Or maybe they want to reward me for, you know, bringing back their mom. I don't know. But that's all. But only one way to find out. Okay. The door to the throne room. Okay. Hopefully things will go good. Um. Hello? Is any pony here? Hello? Huh. That's odd. Nobody's here. No ponies here. This is, uh, interesting. <laughs> and to think, I thought I was supposed to get my reward. But, no ponies here. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is, uh, definitely something. Uh, I better call again. Is any pony in here? Why, of course. Of course there is one pony that's here. But it's not who you think it is. Wait a minute. Hold up. I know that voice. Hold up. I know that voice. Um, okay. I'm a little bit freaked out. Okay, but, um, I do know the voice. You better come out here, show yourself. I got my magic and I'm not afraid to use it. Now Flame, is that any way to treat an old friend? Uh, an old f f friend? Um, um, okay, um, uh, hold up. Let me think. I remember the voice. I just got to remember the face it belongs to. Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Is some... Hang on. I think I know who it is. Did you now? Perhaps maybe you ought to turn around. Um, okay. I'm t t turning around. It's... I knew it! Chrysalis! Chrysalis, what are you doing here? Well, believe it or not, I was actually summoned by the princesses as well. Wait, what? The princesses called you? I thought, hang on, hold up, hold up. Of course, because believe it or not, you do kind of count as, a, as, a, as an alicorn. You do kind of count as an alicorn, even though you're a changeling. I mean, think about it. You fly, you can use magic, so basically you still count as an alicorn, so yeah, I could definitely picture that. Oh, man. Okay, this is definitely insane. Uncle Flame? Huh? What the? Whoa. Flurry, is that you? Hey, Flurry. Hey, Uncle Flame. <laughs> so, um, Flurry, do you know where your mom is? Yeah, she should be coming in soon. Oh. Um, who is that? Oh, I don't think you two ever met. Uh, Chrysalis, this is... 
Yes, I'm well aware that this is the daughter of Princess Cadence. Flurry, I am Queen Chrysalis, the ex-queen of the Changelings. The Changelings? They are creatures that can shapeshift and they feed off of people's love. Oh man. It's okay, it's okay, Flurry, it's okay. Chrysalis is uh, Chrysalis is on our side now. Cause ever because I haven't seen her ever since the uh anti-flame syndicate war. By the way, where have you been ever since then? Well, I've been hanging out with Cozy Glow for a little while, thinking about what the heck we just did. You know, helping out an enemy. But we can definitely say that it was all for the greater good. Because honestly, T-Rex all he was going to do was take the chaos energy and the magic for himself. After all, he didn't want to give back the magic that he took from me in order to keep the force field open. Oh yeah, so that way you, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow could get the could get Grogar's bell. Yes. Oh, by the way, do you still have Grogar's bell? Yes, I still have Grogar's bell. It's locked up in my safe and you're not getting it. Oh, don't worry. I don't have any intentions on getting it. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, Flurry, again, do you know by any chance where your mom is? Same thing with your, same thing with, uh, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna and your aunt, and your aunt? Um, well, they should be here soon. Okay, I can wait a little bit longer. There's no need to wait, Flame. We're already here. Huh? What the... Oh! There you guys are! <laughs> Gra... Well... Hello, princesses. I'm glad that, you know, <laughs> you guys didn't stand me up, because after all, you guys called me out here. Yes, Flame. We're well aware of that. Okay. Uh, hello to you too, Cadence. Hello. Luna. Hello. And, of course, Twilight. Hey, Flame. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies, again, uh, I do like to, um, I do like to thank you for, um, you know, everything. Uh, it's, uh, pretty interesting, really. It's, uh, really interesting, and I'm also really, really happy that, um, <sighs> that I'm gonna be accepting this gift, but first, uh, to tell, okay, if I'm being completely honest, as you should. Honesty is always the best policy. Yes, thank you, Celestia. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm a little bit both scared and, uh, <laughs> both flattered. Because, you see, the reason why is that, um, <laughs> I was actually a little bit scared because I thought you were going to, uh, be mad at me. Because I thought you were going to be mad at me because I, uh, <laughs> used a, um... I used a spell to bring back somebody, cause and you know that's part of a forbidden spell, and uh, yeah, it's just a uh, pretty bad. Yes, although you did kind of go out of your way to use a spell that was forbidden, it was all in good intentions. Yes, we're really grateful that you actually brought back our mother. <laughs> Of course, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, by the way, how is your mom? Well, mother, she's taking a little bit of a rest right now. We left her back in Canterlot to look after things well, while we're here. Oh, um, okay. Yes, well, anyway, the reason why we called you here is because, well, not only were we a little bit upset with you because... You brought back our mother using a forbidden spell. We decided, but we decided to look past that and focus on because, well, it was all in good, t good intentions. Yeah, because you see, even I'm not allowed to do that, and I'm an alicorn too. It's really forbidden for alicorns, even unicorns, to use that type of magic. Yeah, I understand that, Twilight, because honestly... Because honestly, bringing someone back is definitely really complicated. Because not only that, you're messing with, you know, the because you, you're messing with the life cycle itself. Yes, exactly. That's why it's forbidden to ever use a uh, reanimation spell. 
That's why it's very, very important to be careful. Yeah. Yes, well, anyway, to the reason why we were... To the reason why we brought you here. Um, am I in trouble? No, not at all. Okay. For a minute there, I thought I was going to be in trouble. No, no, you're not in trouble. It's just that we actually are really happy that you managed to do the one thing that both Princess Celestia and Princess Luna weren't able to do over the years. Correct. Because you see, ever since our parents have passed, we've been searching high and low for a spell that can bring them back. Unfortunately, we only found a spell that can only bring back only one parent. So, we never used it because we couldn't ever get along to find, you know, a spell to bring back both our parents. Yes, and so we decided to forbid any spell that involves bringing someone back. Oh, well, I'm sorry I disobeyed you. No, no, it's fine. You didn't know. So, instead of punishing you, we are going to reward you for your good deed for the day. Because all our lives we were wondering... When will we ever see our mom again? And because of what you did, we're giving, you gave her a second chance. So now we can rule Equestria together as mother and daughters. And of course, with me, <laughs> I've been teaching Flurry how to, con how to um, be the next princess of the, of the, uh, of the Crystal Empire. Well, that's good. I'm pretty sure Flurry would definitely make a great queen. I'm sure Flurry would make a great queen. And, uh, what about you, Twilight? Well, I'm already the princess of friendship, but pretty soon, <laughs> I already am the uh, princess of Equestria. I already am one of the princesses of Equestria, but here's the thing. Pretty soon, I'm going to be bumped up a level. Oh? Yes, pretty soon I'm going to be able to <laughs> do things like Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. Oh, well that's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, you know I should be on their level, but I'm not yet. Oh, well that's good. But also, can you guys explain to me why Flurry and Chrysalis are here? Because I thought it was just going to be between us princesses. Well, and me, of course, because, you know, pfft, I'm not a princess. <laughs> it's uh, pretty stupid. But anyway, yeah, continue. Well, the reason why we brought Chrysalis and Flurry here is because they're actually impressed with how you um, brought them up as well. Oh? Yes, you see, Flame. I am actually really impressed at how you managed to, managed to open mine and Flurry. And you see... We're both really impressed at how much you improved. And not only that, but you opened up mine and Cozy Glow's eyes. Instead of giving us instead of giving us a hard time, you gave us the one thing that we wanted. The open ears. Oh. Yes. You see, I just wanted to feed my hive with love. And you gave me enough love to feed my hive. Of course, it wasn't enough. So we kind of invaded, and next thing you know, Thorax, he decided to take over. But I was also really relieved because now I can feed on love whenever I like. And of course, I choose you. Oh. Yes, because I already fed on a whole bunch of ponies' lives, or love, and I never tasted Mobian love before. It tastes exhilarating. And I was really happy. Oh, um, that's, uh, oh, I am glad that I can help you. Yes, and my magic has been a thousandfold. I'm really happy. Oh. What about you, Flurry? Well, I'm really happy that you actually decided to take me in as your niece. And also student. 
Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, I've been teaching Flurry all sorts of different magic um, stuff. It's actually really awesome. I've been teaching her um, all sorts of different types of magic. And I've been teaching her all sorts of a quest about Equestrian and uh, Mobian. Well, actually, Mobian uh, energy. Chaos energy, in fact. I was teaching her about all that other stuff because, you know... Maybe one day she'll be able to use the Chaos Emeralds, just like how everybody else did. Yes, which by the way, if I remember correctly, we're all still learning how to use the Chaos Emeralds. Oh? You guys are actually learning how to use the Chaos Emeralds? Mm-hmm. With a little bit of help from Sonic and Amy and lots of others who actually use the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, okay. That's, uh, really nice. Now, enough talking. On to your reward. Cadence, do you have the crystal heart with you? Yes, I do, Celestia. Would you mind bringing it out? Sure. Whoa, the crystal heart looks different now. The crystal heart looks different. Yes, it kind of grew as we as time went by. I'm not gonna lie, it does look really nice. It does look really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, and, by the way, this is just part of your reward. Oh? What's the rest of it? You'll see what it is. But first, we... But first, we have to transform. Wait a minute, transform? What do you mean by transform? Uh... What's the crystal heart doing? Relax, Flame. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Are you sure about that? Because when lightning or static electricity surrounds something, you know something bad. I know something bad is gonna happen. Well, not in this case. Oh my gosh. <sighs> ah, my eyes. Ah. Whoa. Okay. Um, why are things so bright? Relax, Flame. That's what happens. Okay, uh, I gotta adjust the light a little bit. Uh, whoa. F Flurry, is that you? Yes, I have a crystal form. <laughs> Wait, so this is why, I, so this is a crystal form. Interesting. I, you know, I actually read about these. It's really cool. Yes, the ponies of my kingdom all have crystal forms. It all, they mainly materialize whenever the love for everyone is in the, is in the, um, when all the love is stored into the crystal heart, it expirsts. And every now and then, the ponies here in my kingdom have this type of form. Their manes get done, they look like crystals, and, not only that, but ponies like alicorns, we, our magic is a whole lot more powerful. Same thing with unicorns. Whoa, that is special. But why did you guys need to transform? Well, it's because what we're about to do is very, very special. Flurry, would you mind, exp would you mind doing it? Yes, Princess Celestia. I, Flurry Heart, give myself to you as one of your wives or girlfriends. Wait, what? Wait, what? Um, this is a little bit of a, a shock. Next. Okay, uh, this is weird. Uh, Twilight, you too? Of course. Well, I'm already part of your harem, so you don't have to worry about me being, you know, like that. But I still have to do the oath, though, so I, Twilight Sparkle, give myself to you as one of your wives or girlfriends. Uh, okay. This is definitely something, uh, interesting, I guess. By the way, love the crystal form. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, okay, you know what? I know what this is. And to tell you the truth, I'm really flattered. <laughs> okay, uh, who's next? Luna. Wow. Not gonna lie, your crystal form looks amazing. I, Princess Luna, give myself to you 
as one of your wives or girlfriends. Okay, Luna, not gonna lie. I never expected you to, uh, you know, do this. Well, after learning a whole bunch of stuff about Equestria, after when I've been banished, it's good to be loved now. <laughs> so, who's next? Uh, Celestia. You too? I, Princess Celestia, give myself to you as one of your wives and your girlfriend. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna flat out say this. I would, I would have expected this from Luna or Twilight, and uh, this is just, this is just something. Just, wow. You too, Celestia? I mean, you're one of the most powerful ponies out here and the most famous one in Equestria. I didn't expect you to, uh, you know, do this. You'd be surprised. Oh, man. Okay, who's next? Uh, Chrysalis? You have a crystal form, too? Wow, that's a first. i never seen a changeling have a crystal form. That's really interesting. Well, if that spike dragon can have a crystal form, so can any others. She is right, Flame. Whoever is in the range of the Crystal Heart's blast, they get a crystal form. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, I, Queen Chrysalis, the ex-queen of the Changelings, give myself to you as one of your wives or girlfriends. Um, okay. This is interesting. You know, this is my first time ever, you know, having a changeling in uh, my harem. This is, uh, interesting. Wait a minute. Hold up. There's one more, if I remember correctly, c Cadence? But what about Shining Armor? You're forgetting. We cloned myself, remember? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's been a few days ever since, like, Thanksgiving and all that other stuff. By the way, how is Shining Armor? He's okay. Him and Clone Me, they're doing just fine. Well, okay. Well, anyway, you ready to make this official? <sighs> I'm ready. I, Princess Cadence, give myself to you as one of your wives and girlfriends. And with that said, all the royalty in Equestria give some of your ma give some of their magic to you. Flame the Dragonhawk, I hereby make you one of the princes of Equestria. What a a p p p p p a p a p a prince? What a prince? You're Making me a prince? Yes, you are now Prince Flame, the Prince of Power. Oh my gosh, the Prince of Power. This is awesome. So I'm the King of Mobius and the and a prince from a quest in Equestria. This is awesome. And, with that being said, it is done. And, not only that, but we also did some reconstruction to your castle. Uh, wait, you guys reconstructed my castle? Yes. Tomorrow you can take a look at it. In the meantime, we would like you to rest for a little while. Um, okay, I guess this is just a, this is just so much. But wait a minute, what about your EG counterparts? Oh, don't worry. Our EG counterparts, they're in on this too. Wait a minute, hold up. So what you're saying is, Principal Celestia, Prin Vice Principal Luna, and Principal Cadence, they're in on this too? Mm-hmm. Wow, not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting that. <sighs> Okay, well, I never thought I'd say this, but 
Welcome to the uh, harem, princesses. Even though two of you are kind of already in it, it's uh, quite nice. And now, Flame, as the prince of power, you need to make a speech to all of us. Oh, a speech? Well, that shouldn't be too hard. That shouldn't be too hard. Whew. I mean, I made speeches before. I can do this again. And this time, I don't have too many crowds of ponies here. <laughs> All right. And I'm not going to lie. I look awesome in my crystal form. I look awesome in my crystal form. Also, uh, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, special shout out to Star Gleam the Hedge Dragon for making my uh, pony uh, crystal form. So, yeah, special shout out to her. Thank you. Anyway, <clears throat> first off, I do like to thank each and every one of you for not only giving me some of your magic, again, <laughs> but thank you for everything you have done for me. Because you see, not only was today very special, today was, the ve today was the anniversary of the day I first came to Equestria. Because you see, from this day years ago, I was really lost. I was lost and confused and I just didn't know what to do. Until, until all of you, including, including Twilight and her friends and the, uh, and the EG counterparts, they all helped me. And not only that, but they also helped me improve my magic. Because you see, my magic was kind of faint over in, over in Mobius. It was kind of faint. But here, it's a whole lot more stronger than ever. All thanks to you. And so, as the first... Decree as Prince of Power. I hereby want to continue to use my magic for everything that I can to protect both Equestria and Mobius. And even though my mom and my sister and my brother Sonic and lots of others that would have been here aren't here today, I'm pretty sure they would all be proud of me too. Actually... Huh? Cadence, what is it? Well, believe it or not, we actually <laughs> are recording this. Wait, you guys are recording this? Yes. You see, you see, we're actually going to send this to your par to your mother right now, right after your speech. Oh. Well, <clears throat> in conclusion of my speech, in conclusion of my speech, I do like to thank all of you for Helping me out when it came to the Anti-Flame Syndicate, helping me best understand magic, and not only that, helping me learn that there is one type of power out there. It's not the artifacts that you use, it's not, it's not ancient scrolls, or it's not spells you can find in a book. It's in here. It's in your heart. And that would be the magic a friendship. The bonds that you have with the ones that you care about so much, whether they be friends, family, or total strangers, it's just amazing. I can just really, really relate to all of you. And of course, I really am happy. I really am really, really happy that I can be a part of your equestrian family. And I also am really am happy that my friends and everybody else can also be part of the equestrian family. Of course, of course, with, um, <laughs> with, uh, some help with, uh, you know, defeating evil in case if, you know, both Mobian, if, if both Mobius and Equestria are both under attack, of course, we'll all be able to help out because now that we have this great big alliance and everything, I'm sure we can work harder than ever to protect both Mobius and Equestria. 
and as one of the many royalties of this world, and as one of the newly royalty of this world, I want to make another decree. My second decree is, is, <laughs> you guys are going to get a kick out of this. <clears throat> I'm not trying to, I'm not going to, uh, you know, get the power, I'm not going to uh, have the power get to my head, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing something stupid. Trust me, I'm not going to be doing something stupid. But anyway, as my second decree as Prince of Power, I hereby want to open two schools, both in Equestria and both on Mobius. The Mobius school will be for, for Mobians who want to learn about Equestria. And for, a, and for here on Equestria, I would like to open a school that would teach ponies all about Mobius. So that way we can learn and understand each other. And of course, the main six will be the teachers over in the equestrian school. And of course, my friends will be the teachers over at the Mobian school here in Equestria. And the main six will be going to Mobius every now and then to teach all the other Mobians about Equestria and everything else about the magic of friendship and, of course, <laughs> I would also like to say one other thing. I also like to say one other thing. I'm going to continue learning about both magic and chaos energy. So that way, one day, we can find a way to put an end to evil using both magic of friendship and the chaos that all of us have inside of us. Because believe it or not, you ponies don't know this, but you guys all have chaos energy inside of you. It all just depends on how you use it. Oh, also, um, one other thing. Princess Celestia, um, when you guys join the harem, uh, is it possible that Daybreaker, Nightmare Moon, and all your other, and the other evil sides, they join too? Of course. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting because, you know, I, uh, believe it or not, Celestia, I kind of had a thing for Daybreaker. You what? Yeah, I kind of had a thing for Daybreaker. It's, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, I know. But anyway, <clears throat> to the final conclusion of my speech, I just want to say, again, thank you all so much for not only letting me be a part of your equestrian family, but also for everything you have done for helping me improve my powers, my bonds, and most importantly, helping me find my true calling. Because you see, most people, mainly guys, would think that just because you like MLP, that immediately means that you're gay or you're all sorts of other stuff. But no. Because you see, and this goes out to all you other people out there, just because a guy likes MLP, that doesn't make him gay, or it makes him, like, really weird or awkward. That's just because he likes what he likes. And so what? Because, believe it or not, I, and plus, I don't care if people are going to say in the comment section, oh, but MLP is for girls. No, guys, there's no such thing as a guy thing or a girl thing, Okay. There's no such thing as a guy thing or a girl thing. Because, believe it or not, we got guys out here who's liking, you know, MLP or Barbie or something like that. And then we got girls out here that likes, you know, Transformers or, uh, I don't know, whatever TV show is for boys or something. And people are getting laughed at and all that other stuff. It's about time that they stop. Because it's time to respect what other people love. Okay, and I'm and I am willing to and I am willing to say that I do like MLP. Okay, especially Generation Four, especially Generation Four, this generation, because the other generations I really don't know about. Generation Five, I know they kind of have a little connection with Generation Four, but I just don't know. <laughs> But anyway, I might need to learn about Generation 5 a little bit more. Does anybody know about Generation 5? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, but anyway, 
the final conclusion, even though I did say this is going to be a whole bunch of conclusions. Anyway, final conclusion, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Chrysalis, Flurry, Twilight, <laughs> and your bad sides, if you guys are listening, I just want to say thank you all so, 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 so much. And also, I know what you guys are probably going to be thinking, oh, you're a simp and all that other stuff. No, I'm not just a simp. I'm a proud simp because I can like as many girls as I like because I'm proud of it, okay? All right? I'm proud of it. So feel free to call me a simp anytime you like. But hey, I'm a proud simp, okay? Anyway, anyway, Twilight? Yes? I do like to thank you so much, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to having the main six and all of your other friends, both in the EG world and here, um, help out defending Mobius, especially when it came to the anti-flame syndicate war. I do like to, I do like to thank you all so much for helping me out with that war. And Flurry, even though you weren't part of it, I know you were definitely there helping out too. <laughs> yeah, because I know about that little magical energy transfer that you gave your mom. I know about that. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. And I do find that very, very impressive. In fact, in fact, there is one very special thing I do like to give you, uh, give you all. And it's uh, this. What is that? It's a, uh, whew, there we go. It's a book. Twilight, I know how much you like books, so I want you to open it up. Okay, let's see what it is. No way. Yep, it is. It's a book on Mobian magic and spells. So that way, you guys can tap into the chaos energy inside of you all. And you can also, and I'm also trying to uh, find a way that we can combine both chaos energy and magic. So that way, they can be ready anytime we need them. And so that way, we can be really, really strong. <laughs> well, that is really nice of you, Flame, and thank you. <laughs> of course. And you know, I'm pretty sure even though that we never ha even though this never happened or I don't think, I'm pretty sure Equestrians and Mobians probably worked together side by side in the past before. But we don't know that for sure. Well, there is one way. How about tomorrow we do some research? Sure. I wouldn't mind. After all, just like you, Twilight, I love studying. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just glad that you girls aren't mad at me for bringing back your mom. Why would we be mad at you for doing something so thoughtful? Even though you did use a forbidden spell, it was all for the greater good. Yep. And now, all I have to, and now, all I gotta do is just use, uh... Now I just have to learn how to use an aging spell. Oh? Yeah, I kind of promised Applejack's granny, Granny Smith, uh, to make her young for a day. Well, I'm pretty sure I can help you with that. After all, I did, I did beat Trixie. <laughs> yeah, also, by the way, <laughs> Trixie, she's been giving me the eyeballs. Oh? Yeah, that kind of look like she wants a piece of me or something. Well... Maybe a magic duel. Yeah, perhaps. Well, like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed this thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little ceremony. And I do like to thank you all for uh, your special gifts and everything. I do like to thank you all so, 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 so much. I do like to thank you all. And I really am happy that, again, I'm part of your equestrian family. And I'm very more than welcome to have to... Uh, with open arms to welcome you into my Mobian family. Because you guys aren't just my friends. You guys are my family. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. 
And also, let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite part in this video? And also, let me know in the comments down below, who do you think has a better crystal form? Who do you think has a better crystal form? And were you guys shocked at the fact that, you know, uh, <laughs> I was gonna be, I was gonna be a prince of, of Equestria? It's, uh, pretty crazy. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And like I said, if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. Anyway, and also be sure to keep an eye out tomorrow for, uh, <laughs> me giving you guys a tour of my castle. Well, the princess is giving me a tour of my castle because believe it or not guys, my castle has been, it's been better if you guys never seen my castle, but uh, yeah, it's uh, quite interesting. You guys never seen my castle and you guys never seen a tour of my castle, but don't worry guys, tomorrow you guys will be having a tour, you guys will be given a tour of my castle. It's going to be awesome, so yeah. Anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. Anyway, um, again, princesses and of course Chrysalis, I do like to thank you all so much for more of your magic. Hopefully I'm not draining you guys dry. Of course not. Our magic is strong enough that it can be shared with everyone. Oh, well, that's good to know. Anyway... <laughs> This is Flame the Dragon Hog, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, Princess Twilight Sparkle, Princess Flurryheart, and Queen Chrysalis. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers!